Hello and welcome to the lecture. So let's start with OAuth 2.4 which is about protecting the web services. So OAuth has around three methods starting from the first one which is the client credentials which is a two stage process with no human interaction. So it's like a server to server model. And the next one we have the authorization code which is a three stage process with human interaction and finally we have the implicit which is a two-stage process with human interaction and these are the methods which can be provided while defining the OAuth clients and now jumping to the implementation how the workflow is happening first we have to define a role and we can create a role using OAuths. So let's say we have created role 1 and role 2 and even we are defining the privileges privilege 1 and privilege 2 which uses the OAuths and also the OAuths part which is the modules and templates we can protect it using the privilege. So this protects the modules and the templates from the odds so and then we are assigning the rows to this privilege and this role to the other privilege and this is a many to many relationship so each role can be in different privileges and each privilege can have different roles so that's how it's happening so this thing is covers the odds part and in the OAuth we have to create clients so let's say we have two clients, client1 and client2, which are created from OAuth. And then we need to grant to these roles defined in the OAuths. So this is a many-to-many -many relationship as usual. So each client can have many roles and each role can be assigned to any clients. So in that way it's happening. And now we have a relationship between the OAuths and the OAuth. The roles plays as the main factor and is the intermediate for these things that will be granted to these clients and we have a way to communicate to the OAuth server and this is how the workflow is done with respect to protecting the web services at the first step. So in the next step we'll further learn upon the implementation of the OAuth part and how the procedure needs to be done once this are created. So we'll see that in the next lecture.